Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another exciting tutorial and today we're going to talk about Firefox Focus. Now, you might wonder what's this because we already have a Firefox browser on iOS. This is a private browser, meaning that you can browse privately and this is a completely separate app. Now, mind you, uh, you can do this on um, other uh, browsers as well, but uh, this will be completely different. I will show you because this will block ads and you can also add this as an ad blocker inside Safari. So let's jump right into it. The interface is quite simple. You will be greeted with this and all you have to do is just enter an address. So this is so private that you cannot you know save anything very private look at here if I click on this icon right here you will see a Safari integration block ad trackers analytic uh, trackers uh, social trackers and anything other now you can block web fonts as well and if you want to help out Mozilla and send anonymous usage data you can do that or not now in an about section Obviously, uh, you will see some notes like search and browse right in the app, block trackers, etc. I'm repeating myself already. Um, yeah, improved privacy. This is the key right here. So improved privacy, but it's so private that I cannot bookmark anything. And it's just, you know, enter an address. So what address? Uh, you know, uh, maybe we can try uh, Apple today. You know. Shamefully advertising here my website. Of course, you can find many interesting information on Apple today, like the free app of the week and uh, other things like that. All right, now uh, let's see what do we got here. You can erase it. This is the website, so it's not uh, from the app itself. You can reload it. And let's see what this little icon does right here, the Firefox icon. So if you click it, Firefox Focus wants to open Firefox. So either you can open it in the real Firefox browser. This one is also real, but uh, it's for privacy purposes. I'm going to cancel that. And as you can see, you can reload this. And if I press Erase, it's gone. Your browsing history has been erased. That's it. It's just one click. It's not much from the first look, as you can see. It's just, uh, you know, a plain and simple browser. If you're paranoid and, uh, I don't know, you don't like people uh, snooping on your browsing history, I think this is uh, the deal for you because this is so simple that you don't have any bookmarks. Uh, basically, you just enter the address you know. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.